Testing, testing. Still way too loud. Can you get Jamie? Can you please come get Ellie? Okay, let's try the skin. You're listening to The Neurodivergent Nurse, and I'm your host, Jamie. I'm a registered nurse who has ADHD. On this podcast, we will talk all things ADHD. I'm really just beginning to learn about this diagnosis and how to navigate through it. But I am so excited to take you on this messy and raw journey with me so that we can learn together. So let's get started. Hello, my neurodivergent friends. I hope that you have had a good week. This past weekend for me has been a rough one. I did not anticipate having as tough of a time as what I did this past weekend. My mom's birthday was February 17th and I worked on that Saturday and that was okay. But I have an hour and a half drive home and boy, I was, I was definitely a wreck then. And then on Sunday, the day after her birthday, just another really tough one. Those things, they just seem to sneak up on you when you think you're good and you think you're fine. Then all of a sudden you just get hit in the face with a whole lot of big emotions. But I hope that your weekend was great. It felt so good in North Carolina for a couple of weeks. The weather was getting warmer. I mean, it was a little wet while the weather was getting warm. It felt good for my soul. And now here we are. I feel like I'm in the Arctic again with the 36 degree Fahrenheit weather. And I know that's funny for a whole lot of you, but you know, it's me. I don't like it. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about something that's just a little bit more lighthearted, but it is an issue that we deal with that you may have never recognized is more than just who you are. We're going to talk about a couple reasons why opening mail is hard for you because you have ADHD. What? When you're living with ADHD, it can be hard to know what's normal for you and what is ADHD related. So mail is one of those really good examples. If you have piles of unopened mail, you might feel embarrassed about it or even get frustrated with yourself. Yet, when you know that it's a common ADHD thing, I'm hoping that it makes you feel a little bit better. Your piles of mail are still there, but now, you know, it's not personal. There is a reason why this is hard, and knowing that gives you permission to find practical solutions and solutions that have worked for other people with a brain like yours. First of all, having piles of mail can cause two types of problems. On a practical level, bills go unpaid, parking tickets and taxes start to gather interest, and credit ratings will go down. And so then what happens from there? Your services can get cut off, wedding invitations get missed. Oh, the number of RSVPs that I forgot to fill out. Ugh. So maybe the greatest cost, though, is how it makes you feel. Every time you see that stack of unopened mail, there is a sense of dread. Also, it nibbles away at your confidence and self-esteem while you're asking yourself questions like, why can I not do the simple task? Like opening this letter. If we untangle why mail is hard for ADHDers, we realize it isn't just a question of opening an envelope. Rather, it's due to a set of pretty complex issues. I'm going to talk to you about eight reasons why mail is so hard to open when you have ADHD. <gasps> the first thing is daily maintenance. Mail involves daily maintenance. Doing any task with regularity doesn't come naturally for people living with ADHD, which is why a feast and famine approach is so common for us. Ignoring the mailbox for months and then catching up all at once. Number two is dull and mundane. Mail isn't that interesting. Focusing on dull, mundane tasks is very hard for those of us with ADHD. Interesting and fun tasks are always going to win your attention over the boring ones. Number three, it involves reading. I know that not all of us have struggles when it comes to reading, but there's a lot of us ADHDers that we just don't like to do it. Once you've opened the envelope, reading is involved. And like I said, not everyone with ADHD finds reading easy. Plus, learning disorders often coexist with ADHD. Number four, this is the one that they actually, you know, just wrote about me, pretty much. I'm kidding. Anxiety trigger. The letter contents might trigger anxiety, which us with ADHD, we're already prone to. So if you're already feeling anxious, it makes sense that you would want to avoid anything that could increase your anxiety levels. Number five. 
Decisions, decisions, decisions. Letters involve decision making, which is something else ADHDers might find really hard. The decision may be a super simple one. Should I keep this letter or should I throw it in the garbage? Or it might involve more complex decisions based on the contents of that letter. I personally truly struggle with throwing things away. I feel like a order in a sense, which I know I'm nowhere close to being a hoarder, and I know that it's a real thing that people go through. However, there is this sentimental thing attached or this worry or concern that if I throw this thing away, then am I going to forget about it? It's, it's such a tough thing to do, even if you never need it again. And I personally really struggle with Operation Smile. I believe that that's the organization that sends mail at times. They send you stickers with the return envelope. They want you to fill out the donation portion of it, drop that in there. But they also tell you, here are these stickers that if you mail it back, we're going to give to some of these kids that are receiving things from Operation Smile. Then there's so much guilt that is around thinking, oh no, if I throw away these stickers, these poor little kids are going to miss out on getting stickers. Now I just don't even open it at all if it looks anything like it may be from that because I feel so guilty about not sending stickers back to these children. Number six, out of sight, out of mind. Some of us with ADHD are concerned that if we open a letter that we will forget to do the necessary things that go along with it. For example, that RSVP to the wedding invitation that I was telling you about, booking the hotel room, buying a present. Those of us with ADHD would rather keep the envelope unopened as a visual reminder that those things need to be done, even though it might mean missing the wedding. Number seven, the fact that it's a multi-step process. Any task that involves a multi-step process has the potential for distraction. The more steps there are, the greater the chance to leave the task unfinished. The more steps there are, the greater the chance to leave a task unfinished. Since opening and sending letters have many steps, procrastinating when starting a multi-step task is normal. And the last reason why it can be so hard for us is the fact that it requires action. The letter might involve doing a task that is not fun. For example, picking up the phone, talking to someone, which is also a thing that is difficult for those of us with ADHD or social anxiety, or addressing a topic that you feel behind with, like finances and taxes. So let's talk about three steps to mastering your mail. Side note, I also am not just terrible at opening mail. I am also really bad at sending mail. Which is kind of ironic because I have been volunteering for, I don't know, maybe five or six years with this organization called Chemo Angels, where every week we send mail to someone who is going through chemo. Talking about an area of volunteer work <laughs> that is so outside of my norm and my abilities, sending mail is just as difficult, but I really enjoy painting, as you probably know, and I have bought like a lot of watercolor cards and paper so that I can paint pictures and send them to the people going through chemo. Let's get back to some steps to help you open mail. All right. The first thing you can do to help master your mail is to create a mail opening station. I mean, that sounds kind of cool, like have a mail opening station somewhere in your house. Find an area in your home where you can open your mail. Your station should include these things. One, a recycling box. Two, a shredder. Three, a pin board. Four, a filing cabinet. Five, other mail-related items like stamps, address labels, envelopes, pins, address books, and a kitchen timer. Having everything in one place limits distractions and makes sending and receiving mail so much easier. Back to my volunteer work with Chemo Angels, I've kind of set something similar up to it for the outgoing mail. And it sounds a little silly because when I'm at home, I can I can make the card, I can paint the pictures, I can write the message in it. Most of the time, I can even address the envelope. However, I struggle so much with actually getting it out. I only have to put a stamp on it, a return address label, and walk into my mailbox and turn up the red little flag for my mail once a week to be sent. The hard part should be creating a picture, right? Painting, painting a card, making a card, coming up with that creativity. Nope, absolutely not. For some reason, when I'm at work, I'm already kind of in a go. 
process on my lunch break. It is so easy for me to put the stamp on it that I carry in my backpack. The envelopes that I carry in my backpack that go out while I'm at work and drop it in their mailbox for it to be shipped off to the person who's going through chemo. It works for me because somehow I don't forget about it. I don't get to send it and I have all the supplies in my backpack so that I can send it. Number two, create a daily habit. Pick a time of day when you will open your mail. For example, when you come home from work, then make it a new daily habit so that the task never becomes huge. Number three, mail time. When it is mail time, get your letters and head to your station. Set your timer for 10 minutes, put the junk mail in the recycling, open the first envelope, read the letter inside, and ask yourself, what action do I need to take? Maybe you need to file it for your records, pay a bill, run an errand. The next question is, can I do it now? If the task takes less than five minutes, yeah, go ahead, do it right away. Otherwise, pick a day and time, write it down in your calendar. I have multiple calendars just so that I don't forget things. As simple as this, pin the piece of mail that still needs action onto your pin board so it's safe and visible. Open the next envelope, and repeat until your mail has been open. Shred anything that has your name on it to protect against identity theft. And then you'll be all done until another day. I hope these tips seem like aha moments to you to be able to take something that you really do and should stay on top of just a little bit easier. And especially because you're not the only one who struggles with it. People with ADHD, it is such a common struggle, which is why it was important to talk about, to know that you're not alone, number one, and to add a couple here you go things to it to make your life in some way just a tad easier i hope you have a really wonderful week and i can't wait to talk to you again